What's going on, guys? I had to kick my room out today. He kept, he just kept on cleaning up and spraying that disinfectant everywhere, and getting up all in my business. Oh man, that was just getting so irritating. He knows how I like my space. He knows how slobby I like it. He just wouldn't have it. He's such a neat freak. I had to kick his butt out. Our Couple came out back in 1968, was directed by Gene Sachs, and stars the very talented Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau. And it's all about these two friends who try sharing an apartment together, but soon realizes that their idea of housekeeping and lifestyle is as different as day and night. And I say that literally too. So let's get into the positives. The wonderful Jack Lemmon and Walter Matthau, they gave great performances in this film. I've grown up watching a majority of their films. I wanted to see further on what else they have done. And I came across this little slice of heaven. I'm glad I did. So Oscar Madison is played by Walter Matthau. He plays the slob. He plays the don't give a shit guy that just lives like a pig. Felix Unger, on the other hand, was played by the talented Jack Lemmon. And he's the neat freak. He's the one that moves in after finding out his wife is wanting to divorce him. And he moves in with his best friend. They soon clash. And it just turns into an all-out fight. Hey, stay away from me, Oscar. Hey, Oscar, Oscar, stay away from me, Oscar! Oscar, why not? This is the day I'm gonna kill you! Oscar! So basically what I got out of this film is would you really be able to live with your best friend? Setting aside all the stuff that you go through together, like the times that you stood up for each one another and lied for each other, all of that aside, would you really be able to spend a lifetime with them in an apartment? Well, not a lifetime, but you get what I mean. Knowing that y'all have two entirely different personas. I honestly believe that's what this movie tries to tell you. This film was based off of a Broadway play several years before this film actually came out and spawned a 1970s show that lasted for five seasons, a sequel in 1998, and a rebooted series of the same name as well here recently. It is considered a classic. I don't know about you guys, but I consider it a classic. This film was directed in the 60s, so you get that 60s vibe, cinematography, and that famous Odd Couple score, which was really good. It was done pretty well. Since this film was done in the 60s, you get a good look on how people dressed back then, how they talked, how personalities was back then. So you get all that, and you get the chemistry between Lemon and Math Al's character, which is hilarious. What do you want me to do, climb across the cabinets? No, I just want you to walk on the floor. Oh, well, I appreciate that. I really Look, do. All I'm trying to do is keep this place livable. I didn't know I irritated you that much. Leave my pictures alone. I was just trying to even them up. I want oh. them uneven. They're my pictures. Even up your own pictures. I, there's really not much to say about this film because it was one of those stories that was definitely not huge. It is considered a classic because considering the time that it came out, it's one of those that still resonated with a lot of people, I think. And also the comedy in it did make me chuckle. There was hardly any music in it. The only time the music would start up is when you would hear that famous score. And that was a good thing because you didn't really need that much music in this film. All you needed was that famous Odd Couple score. Alright, the negatives. I don't really have that much negatives to say, but the ones I do have is minimal maybe. But there was these two sisters that the guys met, brought up to their apartment. They just kept them laughing. <laughs> Even though that scene set up to what happened next, which was really hilarious between the two guys, I just felt like they overdid it. Gwendolyn and Cecily, the Cuckoo Pigeon Sisters is what they were referred to, I just didn't really resonate with them as much. They became a little annoying after a while. And this scene lasted for about 15 to 20 minutes. And most of the scenes that 
didn't have meth out and lemon in it did kind of drag on a little bit. I just didn't really find it that interesting. I mean, some of the dialogue was okay. I just think where this movie really shined was with Lemon and Mathow. The movie really picks up, it, even though it kind of drags on for some parts of it. By the time the third act happens, you really get a sense of, okay, maybe these guys weren't meant to live with each other. Will you ask my advice? Your I'm advice? You didn't even know where this kitchen was till I came here and showed it to you. Listen, you want to talk to me, buddy? Put down that spoon. Yeah, spoon? <laughs> you dumb ignoramus, that is a ladle. You did not know that's a ladle. Get a hold of yourself. But you think it's so easy? Go ahead. Kitchen's yours, all yours. You go make a meatloaf for four people to come a half hour late. Go on. I definitely highly recommend you checking this out if you haven't. Uh, our couple gets a B plus. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share. Shout out to Black Taxic News, Cool to the Fullest, Bam Movie Reviews, and a lot of other YouTube pals on here. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon. And as always, if you like this, you can click right here and get reputized.